So, you've delivered a successful pitch to an investor and you're keen to build on that excitement and secure a follow-on meeting. But investors are busy people and they may have different priorities and have seen many companies that week. So how do you get the investor's attention and stand out amongst the other 20 firms that they may have seen that week? The key is to break the convention, be different, and give them a reason why they need to see you again. My first hack is all about following up to deliver information on a key point raised by the investor in the meeting. It might be the sort of thing that in your debrief with the team, you really feel that there's more information you'd like to show them. But the key is not to just send it over to them on an email or another presentation, but use uh, the request for a follow-on meeting to present in person because it doesn't come across well over email or it'd be better to discuss it in person and get your feedback, something like that. Finally, make sure to request a short meeting, say 20 minutes, and a promise that you will stick to that time. That way it makes it easier for the investor to see you. My second hack I call meet the expert. And this is where you have a member of your wider team, perhaps on your advisory board, that you know will bowl over the investor. They probably have a market background or they have an impressive track record in raising funding or running a spin out in a similar area and you know that their presence will excite the investor. The request for a meeting should be short and casual, more of a, can we drop by for a coffee, 15 minutes max, and you wanna do it in person. The final hack is an evolution of the, the meet the expert strategy. And I like to call it the Lone Ranger approach because for the first meeting, go it alone. This approach runs counter to the traditional thinking that you should bring your entire team for the first pitch to cover all bases. But if you do that, the reasons to have a follow on meeting are more limited. By going it alone, you have then the option to say, we'd like you to meet the rest of the team and thereby show your breadth of expertise at the follow on meeting. And that's a compelling reason for the investor to see you. So there you go. There's my three hacks to get that follow on meeting. One, follow up with the, un the answer to the unanswered question. Second, to meet a key expert that you think will be valuable to persuading the investor. And three, the go it alone strategy to bring in the rest of your team at a follow-on meeting. There you go, I hope that's very useful to you.